as we gathered in this place today. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Have your way. As we gaze aside our own desires, sweep across our hearts with holy fire. Have your way. This is your house. Your hope, we welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your hope, we welcome you today. This is your house, your hope, we welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your hope, we welcome you. Lord, we welcome you today. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. During Good. this celebration, let us pray for this intention. This Mass is offered for Dibhavani TV Karpas Pandona, Shauri Lim, Tuma Balradi, Sahit. On the occasion of birthday of Shauri Lim, Tuma Balradi and Sahit for good health, and thanking God for all the graces received by Suresh from America. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy, Chaplet, Word of God, and Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Along with this intention, let us also have our personal intentions and pray during this celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today's liturgy of the word gives us a very good opportunity to come back to the Lord. From the first reading of today, taken from the Ecclesiasticus, chapter 1, we hear that there is nothing under the sky, nothing is happening, he says, which means not even the beast, the human being trying to come back to the Lord. When we personally analyze, he says, our eyes have not stopped seeing something bad. Our ears have not stopped hearing anything bad, which means everything is happening according to our own wish and fantasies, but nobody according to him Nobody is for the Lord. Nobody is trying to come back to the Lord. And even though there are many opportunities, ample opportunities are given to every individual, none of us are trying to grab them, so which, were, which is explained through the character of King Herod in the second reading of today's Gospel reading. My dear brothers and sisters, as we partake in this Holy Eucharistic celebration, let us ask the Lord that Give us one more chance so that we come back to you. I confess to Almighty God and to and you, to my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts, thoughts, in my words, in what, what I have done, and in what, what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through, through, through my fault, through, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
The first reading is taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verses 2 to 11. There is nothing new under the sun. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What does man gain by all the toil at which he toils under the sun? A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun goes down and hastens to the place where it rises. The wind blows to the south and goes round to the north. Round and round goes the wind, and on its circuits the wind returns. All streams run to the sea, but the sea is not full, to the place where the streams flow. There they flow again. All things are full of weariness. A man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. What has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done. And there is nothing new under the sun. Is there a thing of which it is said, see, this is new, it has been already, in the ages before us. There is no remembrance of former things, nor will there be any remembrance of later things yet to be among those who come after. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Your response. O Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. O Lord, o Lord you have you been our refuge, refuge from, generation from generation to generation. generation. You turn back, you turn man back to dust and say, Return, O children of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday. Come and gone, or like a watch in the night. Your response? O oh Lord, you are our refuge from generation to generation. You sweep them away like a dream, like grass which is fresh in the morning. In the morning it sprouts and is fresh. By evening it withers and fades. Your response? O oh Lord, you are my God, our refuge from generation to generation. Then teach us to number our days, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Turn back, O Lord, how long? Show pity to your servants. Your response? O Lord, you are my refuge from generation to generation. At dawn, fill us with your merciful love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. O oh, give success to the work of our hands. Your response? O oh Lord, you are my refuse to from generation to generation. Sing this message loud and clear. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ our Lord is near. Hallelujah, sing his message loud and clear. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ our Lord is near. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you o lord gospel according to saint luke chapter 9 verses 7 to 9 at the time herod the tetrarch heard about that was happening and he was perplexed because it was said by someone that john had been raised from the dead by some that elijah had appeared and by others that one of the prophets of the world had risen herod said john i beheaded but who is this about whom i hear such things and he sought to see him the gospel of the lord praise to lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters bomant a scientist at the end of his life he made this statement that is there is a method in man's wickedness there is a method in man's wickedness and it grows up by degrees what does he mean by this statement so he says he was analyzing his personal life as an scientist degrees by degrees he was achieving so much he thought that uh, achieve achievements all the achievements are growth all the achievements are uh, for his, towards his degrees but at the end of his life he said i could not find out the wickedness that also grown with me by degrees by degrees so my dear brothers and sisters even we ourselves though god gives us so many opportunities he sends so many angelic persons before us we sometimes ignore them most of the time we condemn we condemn them that is the worst thing that can happen to our individual lives my dear brothers and sisters today is from the gospel reading taken from gospel according to saint luke chapter 9 verses 7 to 9 jesus gives us very good and beautiful uh, character through the character of king herod antipas we know his life was adulterous life he had lot of lust and not only he he involved his own brother's wives into this field that is adulterous life added to that he was a murderer so my dear brothers and sister in this scenario god gave him so many opportunities especially i would like to narrate to you two opportunities through two personalities that is through the character of john the baptist and secondly through the character and the life of jesus christ so these two persons were living along with him herod the antipas jesus christ and john the baptist they lived in the same age yet yet he lived in wickedness and he was he concluded his life in wickedness and sin and he perished that way here my dear brothers and sisters i want you to reflect with me about the opportunities that god gives us in order to come back to him he does not simply uh, he does not want us to end our lives simply that way or in our wickedness or in our sin he wants every individual to come back to him to live him forever in the heavens that are specially prepared for you and for me these are the special and unique opportunities god always gives us so the king herod was given all these opportunities for his conversion but he steeped in sin and wickedness so my dear brothers and sisters finally in this character through this character i want to say this so god gave him opportunities to redeem himself redeem himself for the life the next life that is eternal life but here what king herod the antipas did is instead instead he condemned those who came to redeem him that is the worst thing he he did so in the in the same manner we also sometimes blame god had god given me one opportunity or if god had given or uh, sent someone about my sin and wickedness i would have changed this will be our uh, regular comment our regular dialogue with other human being but god always gives us many 
opportunities, my dear brothers and sisters. Here, Herod Antipas was a believer to our astonishment. He's a believer. He believed in resurrection. He believed in miracles too. But still, he lived in that life. He did not even take the slight remorse in his sin and wickedness. Still, so many sins he has committed against the mercy and the opportunity given by the Lord. So he, he was in, in adulterous life. He involved his brother's wife, uh, welcomed to this life. Secondly, he was a murderer and what not. He was a murderer. He was living under adultery, disbelief and no fear of God. All this sin accumulated, as I said, Bowman says, out like the degrees. He accumulated all these sins, my dear brothers and sisters, against the Spirit of the Lord. So this is what is called blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. We hear Jesus reminding us, you may sin and ask pardon, but sin against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. What does it mean? Which means, through the Holy Spirit, God always reminds, reminds all of our sinful life. He gives preaching and teaching. He gives warning. He sends his angels. He sends his prophets. But still, if you don't have time to listen to them, that is sin or blasphemy against the spirit of the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. That's what we heard from the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. We also have beautiful episode in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, that is the episode of dry bones. God, through the spirit of spirit, asked, asked the prophet, will they speak or will they be alive again? Then he says, no. But if you give them spirit or if you talk to them, if you say anything to them, these dry bones will gain their energy, will gain their power, will live, he says. The spirit says to him. Then he says, let me try. And that's how he tries and the dry bones become alive, my dear brothers and sisters. So this is the opportunity. If you really want to change your life, if you really want to offer yourself to the Lord, if you really want to come back to Him, there are many opportunities given by the Lord. But our hearts are like the hard soil. That's what we hear in the parable of the sowing, sower, or the seed sown by the sower. That is from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 13 verses 1 to 23. The hard, the soil was hard and that's why there was no goodness, there was no growth. So my dear brothers and sisters, I would like to, uh, I want you to reflect with me that God gives us many opportunities. How do we take them? So the King Herod Antipas was given same opportunity. At the same time, the people in his scenario, in his locality, were given same opportunities. But how did they come back? How did this Herod King uh, Antipas went away from the Lord? That is the story. So here when we see the reaction of the people, how did they receive him? They were in speculation. The people of, uh, of Jews, they were in speculation. When they heard about Jesus preaching and teaching, they marveled at him. They marveled at his uh, um, healings. They marveled at his touch. And they, there is one story. He, when the disciples go from Jesus and heal so many people in their mission work, mission areas, they come back and tell him, we, we were also able to heal the people. Then there is astonishment that Jesus has given them power. So that's how, my dear brothers and sisters, the reaction of the people made them believers for Christ. Same way, King Herod was also given the same opportunity. But how did he behave? How did he offer himself to the Lord? So he has seen the mighty works of the Lord. He has seen the healings of the Lord. He has seen the teaching of the Lord. He has seen, he has also heard to the preaching of Jesus Christ. But, but there was no astonishment. There was no marvel 
instead he was totally perplexed he was in confusion he lived in guilty conscience and there was no conversion so this was the life of uh, Her king herod the antipas so we are also sometimes my dear brothers and sisters we also try to live in our guilty feelings with our guilty feelings guilty conscience god does not want you to live in that way god wants you to come back that's why he gives opportunity for our conversion he wants you to come back and offer yourself come back and be with him this is the only expectation of the lord that we come back to him otherwise sometimes even our own heart which is full of blood complains against yourself you know the blood of the innocent cries to the lord not only from heaven but also from the heart of man who murders who commits the sin so even if a whole body that's what we heard from the first reading our eyes are unable to see goodness our ears are unable to hear the good tidings of the lord even our whole body he is not listening to our own self but there is a heart there is a heart in every individual and there is also blood that blood is against you that blood crying to the lord for your sake for your redemption for your salvation my dear brothers and sisters so at least at least let us operate our heart properly and then we have opportunity we have conversion and we are with the lord so as we partake in this holy eucharistic celebration let us ask the lord to give us the grace that not only our organs of the body our heart is always exposed to him all that i am all that i have i lay them down before you lord all my regrets and all my acclaims the joy and the pain i'm making them yours lord i offer my life to you everything i've been through use it for your glory lord i offer my days to you lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice lord i offer you my life lord i offer you my life pray my dear brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the loving father May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty and eternal god through Christ our lord in him you have been pleased to renew all things giving us all a share in his fullness for though he was in the form of god he emptied himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation therefore he has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory hosts and i in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosts and i in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Paul Antin, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, Found by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art who in heaven, hallowed by thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the meaningful sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof, but only but say, say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. By the body and blood of Christ, bring me to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Pray for the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I deserve to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Hide me And I
and thunders roar I will so with you about the storm Father you are king over the floods And I will be still and know you are God I will be still and know you are God When the oceans rise and thunders roar I will so with you above the storms Father, you are king over the flood And I will be still and know you are God And I will be still and know you are God I am the good shepherd, says the Lord I know my sheep and mine know me let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to be God. To God. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus set me free. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus set me free.